agreeers, disagreeers, and the Trumpholics out there, let me hear it. Welcome back to Agree to Disagree. And this is Breaking Bad Season 3 with myself and Derek. What's going on, guys? Derek here. Welcome back to the channel once again. Um, I'm here with Joe. We're doing a dual review for Season 3 of Breaking Bad. And um, I just finished it up a couple days ago. And uh, we're here to let you know what we thought about it. Joe's going to kick things off, and we'll get started. And let me just start off by saying, wow, Season 3, great Definitely, you know, continue the trend of, you know, season two being better than one and now three is better than two. You know, it seems that each season is getting better. Yeah, not knocking on either of the previous seasons, but two is better than one, I believe, and three is better than two. We can agree to disagree on that. You guys can comment below and let us know what you think. But uh, we're here to talk about three. So what do we got? And why we like three. Oh, and let me start off by saying... They had an episode in season three about a fly, and it managed to be great and entertaining. Yeah, indeed. It was called Fly. And uh, there was 47 minutes of Walt and Jesse trying to catch a fly in the laboratory. That's the plot of the episode. They try to find a fly. But it's so good. It's it a really good episode. It kept me entertained. Yeah. And, I, I mean, I want to talk about it here because if a show can manage to make it, an entire 47-minute episode about catching a fly and trying to get rid of it in a lab, I mean, that sounds boring, but this show managed to do it so well. And if a show can do that, a show really shows you that, you know, it's good. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, the content that this series provides us is outstanding. And the fact that they can do 47, 48 minutes – of Walt and Jesse building fly swatters, jumping up all around their uh, laboratory, trying to swat a fly in order to cook. I mean, power to you. That, that was just incredible. Yeah, and it got intense. It got very verbally intense. It, yeah, and they got again, it's such about fly. Yeah, so. I mean, it's crazy. Um, the next thing I want to bring up, obviously, we've talked about this. I now officially have my favorite Breaking Bad scene. Yep. It came from episode, uh, came from season three, and it's the episode where Hank is trying to track down Jesse, and he gives him a little beat down, and he winds up in the hospital bed, and oh my goodness, did my heart rush during this scene. Jesse, all beaten intense. up, beaten up, bruised and battered, laying down in a hospital bed, and he gives the speech of the series. I was hooked on this. I felt for him. I felt like I was sitting on a chair in the room with them. He tells Walt that he's going to track Hank down. He's going to make him suffer. He's going to end his life. He's going to kill him. He knows what's coming for him. He better watch out. And honestly, I don't know about you, Joe, but my heart was a little pumping. Oh, yeah. Me too. It, it felt like he was threatening me. I mean, it, it was very intense. And, you know, I had goosebumps during that scene. That, that scene was very powerful. Yeah. We were riveting. I mean, People talk saying. about people talk about, including myself and you, obviously, um, about Walt's um, acting in this show, and it is impeccable. It is amazing. Oh yeah. I, I know he's going to have big parts in the future, but you got to give it up for Jesse in this season. He's building as an actor. He's building his personality. He's going through some changes, and his acting, top of the line in this series, top of the line. I will say, I did like Jesse's arc this season, and that being, uh, you know, Gustavo Fring and Mike are both introduced in this season. Just, you know, Gus kind of likes Wall at first and doesn't like Jesse, and the tide completely turns by the end, and he likes Jesse. So I like that arc of where you see Jesse kind of being, you know, the hated one to all of a sudden becoming the favorite. Yeah, and uh, actually... This change in characteristics and like feelings towards the other characters actually leads us into the final scene of this series. But um, let me get into one thing before we get to that. Uh, something big happens to Hank this episode. And um, do we want to do a spoiler alert right now? I don't know if we necessarily need to. We will just say that it is a very unfortunate um action that happens to Hank. And if you've seen season three, you know what we're talking about because this completely changes his character from there on. Yeah, you know, he was always put up as this big, badass DEA agent. You know, no one's messing with me. No one's getting to me. And then after this little event happens, I mean, 
his attitude changes towards his family and friends, and he's just a whole different person now. Yeah, it kind of puts him on this uh, rock bottom, and you you get interested. You you want to know where he goes from here, you know, and, and where his character is going to go. His character finally becomes one that's really interesting and really has a few layers to him, which he always kind of just seemed like some kind of hard ass that was there would get comedy in, but now he seems like uh, like a Breaking Bad character. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, I'm very interested to see where, uh, Hank's character is going to go in the future episodes. Uh, you know, his attitude and characteristics is crazy now, and I'm definitely going to watch and find out. Absolutely. All right. And so then we're going to get to this, this final scene. Yeah. This All one, right. we can't avoid spoilers. This no. one has to have a spoiler. No. So we're going to do a little spoiler alert here. So we're going to give you the five seconds of courtesy. So if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. Pause the video here and come back. Five, four, three, two, one. Spoiler. So Gail gets shot. <laughs> Gail gets shot. <laughs> um, hatred between Gustavo Gus, a.k.a. Gus, and Walt arises, and he figures this out. And he now knows his life is in danger because he only wants Gale cooking in his laboratory. So Joe is going to finish on what happens right here. Yeah, I mean, ex exactly as I said before, Gus gets, uh, Gale gets shot. I mean, Jesse goes up to Gale's apartment and, you know, the episode of season... The the last episode of season three ends with Jesse having a gun to Gail's head and you hearing the gunshot. And that is the biggest cliffhanger I have seen since Daryl and Merle get reunited. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I have I do not remember a cliffhanger this big in a long time. You don't know if and he you don't know if he um doesn't go through with it. He shoots off to the side. If he shoots him in the face, if he shoots him in the leg. Exactly. If, if, if he shoots him in the wall, maybe Jesse gets shot. I mean, you don't know what happened. And just we're fortunate enough. That this is years later. So we're fortunate enough now to have Netflix. We can just see the next episode. But had I been watching at that point, I would be very angry right now. Oh, I would the be so, angry like I would that, be so angry that's huge. for those six days before the next episode came out. You have no idea. Well, that was... A finale, so it would have been a while before yeah. they saw the, the next episode. So, if you guys were watching Bring About Live when that was happening, I I feel bad for good you. for you, man. I got that good Netflix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you you have patience. Good good for you. That's I, oh, I'd be so mad. Thumbs up for you guys. But awesome cliffhanger, really really powerful cliffhanger, really gets you psyched for season four. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have to say about season three. What about you? Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums everything up. Uh, I told you guys my favorite scene. Uh, something big happens with Hank, so if you haven't seen it, go watch it. The Fly episode was absolutely amazing. Um, season three. Gail getting shot. Keep getting better. Gail getting shot in the face. Um, yeah. Spoilers, of course. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And, uh, Joe? Yeah, and, and, I'm, I'm gonna tell them, Derek, if this video gets a hundred likes, Derek will stop smoking. Wait, I don't even smoke. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> he Whatever, smokes, guys. guys, so if this Show gets a hundred likes, he'll stop smoking. Show us the love, and until next time, this has been Agree to Disagree. <laughs>